Hey everybody, welcome to tonight's pour. Tonight's pour is going to be a Hot Wheels themed one. Uh, so this one is going to be a 69, it says Capo Camaro. So this is it. Um, I don't know if you can read that. But it's kind of two-toned, that greenish, bluish green and blue. And I don't know, I was, I've been doing a lot of, a lot of them with flames. So I kind of want to go a little bit different. So my thought as I was preparing for this one was going to be a white background and blowing it out with those colors. And I think I'm going to go more of a, a fine stream than, than anything. So, um, of those two colors kind of mixed in there together. So that's what I'm going to go with. Um, I thought about adding a little black, but I think I'm just going to go with the lighter colors and not putting black in there. I think I'm, I'm, I don't want it to overtake the colors themselves. So the colors I'm going to use uh, for the background will be Artist Loft White. And then the blue will be Artist Loft Blue. And then the green I'm going to use, I try to match that kind of color and it's Aqua Green, by, or Emerald Green, I'm sorry, by Master's Touch. So those are the colors I'm going to be using tonight and the, the brands. So all I got to do is mix the paints and I've got my canvas up there, but I'll have to level it and we'll get started. All right. So we've got the canvas on here. We're going to get it leveled. I've noticed this canvas is a little, the wood on it's a little warped. So it does kind of here, but that's what it says. We'll see how it goes. Whew. Now, if I feel that this needs a little bit more color in it, I'll throw some black in if I feel like it needs it. I don't think it's gonna. But we'll see. Sorry, I'm trying to move some of this stuff I have here. You know, I cleaned out my studio a few months back and it's already cluttered up again. It's amazing how fast that happens. That stuff sitting everywhere. Oh, on a side note, my wife, you know, is making wreaths. She's taking over the family room, which is just outside of this room. And she got some, some, she had some Halloween stuff. So she had these arms, like skeleton hands with the arm, part of the arm on it. And she wanted to paint them. So she came in here to get some paint and to paint it in here, which as I've told you before, she doesn't let me use any of her room. But I guess it's all right to use my room for her to use it so anyway she comes in here and goes you need to organize your room <laughs> and i'm like i just did not too long ago she just kid stops what she's doing just kind of gives me a look like you got to be kidding me I'm like, nope nope and then of course i had to make a comment about not being able to use any of her room but she's using my room And then I have a spot out in the garage that the ones I don't resin, I spray with a gloss enamel. So I have a place set up for them to get sprayed. And so she's been using it to spray paint parts for her wreath. So she's taking over that too. Slowly losing rooms in the house. Got my torch.
It's a good thing I got a drop cloth on the over the carpet because I just dropped some paint droplets on. Save a little bit of paint because we need it. And those is a Dutch pour. You pour the base paint around the paint and blow it up on there. So I'm going to use this hair dryer just to blow it up on top, the white on top, and then I'll use just a straw for the rest of it. But I just don't want I think that's all I want to do with it. So I have the car here. So there you go. We got the paints pretty well matched. Colors. I am. We'll have another great piece when that one's done. All I have to do is let this dry, and we'll get that resin on it. Place the car on it, and we'll have a killer piece. All right, this one is dried, and again, I'm going to use Pro Marine resin, seven ounces on this one. But for a 10 by 20, I use the art resin calculator to come up that you can go to that and type in the size of canvas to tell them how many ounces. So it's three and a half the hardener, three and a half of the epoxy. I've mixed it for approximately three minutes. And now I have mixed more because I have another canvas to do at the time. And so I'm going to do about that. Canvas. all right so this one this canvas is a little <clears throat> warped for some reason you can see i can push down on it real real good so hopefully the resin won't all drift off to one side i tried bending this back in shape and it just doesn't go it keeps going back so it, it wasn't really anything that i did i think the canvas was just warped the wood so it was like that when I first started painting it 
so it wasn't like the it had too much paint on it and it just and then warped is just a warped canvas but I'm still gonna use it So since I'm doing two canvases at the same time, which I like to do uh, only because it saves on mixing time, I can add the two together and pour them at the same time, but I gotta work fast. So you, I'll probably cut speed over this anyway and cut the volume just because um, I'm trying to cut down my videos for YouTube. So they weren't so long. I have, I'm doing an event. I actually was out there all, all day today. I got out there about 8 o'clock this morning and went till 9 o'clock. Uh, sold a number of pieces today. And so I wanted to get these two. I knew they were going to be ready. So I wanted to get these two done tonight. So I have them ready for tomorrow's show. But I sold my my dragon, which the other piece is actually another dragon one. And I sold the mystery machine, which was everybody that came in the booth today and yesterday. This is, this is a four day event, this was day two. They all, oh, the mystery machine or all the dragon and and then the first day I sold the, the, the 66 Nova red with the flames and the fire bird. So at least those have sold. So anyway, this one is done. So I'll have this ready for the show tomorrow. It might be not quite cured, but I'll still take it. It'll sit there all day and be all right. Thanks for watching.